Mi nombre es Kevin Ortiz y esto es Por la Cultura. So, I'm Puerto Rican, born and raised in Puerto Rico. Love my island. I will forever be, be proud of my island. You can honestly tell who's from the island because like, even when we live in the States, we'll hang a little flag in our, in our like mirror. And you're like, okay, yep, obviously, you're, you're proud. So it's fun. That's my heritage, that's my background. I've been living in the States now, what is it, six years? Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm, this, is, this is nice to celebrate everything. Every culture has its own things, so it's really hard to put it all together in one piece. So for me, colors was the balance. I was actually in Colombia. My fiance is Colombian. So for me, it's I've seen kind of the process. I've, I've been there, I've been to other countries. I've seen that the colors complement each other. The same colors you find on this scarf, you'll find them in various Hispanic and Latino countries, like in very well-known buildings and, and like streets. So for me, that, that was the process. It was, color is my tying factor, is like unifying factor. One thing I wanted to feature was the Flor de Maga. Honestly, it's in a more subtle way because I didn't want to take away from everything, but it was a great opportunity for me to feature that. It's, it's my country's, you know, my island's national flower. So that's awesome. And I think too, Puerto Ricans are, and I guess Latino and Hispanics in general, are very on the artistic side. So for me, this was, hey, this is, this is a great avenue for it. Let's, let's make kind of a custom handwriting. Let's, let's go crazy. Let's blend a few other colors. So yeah, it was, I'd say it, it essentially influenced all of it. So this one right here, like I said, it's very subtle. This is the Flor de Maga. This is the big, you know, this was the big piece for me because it's my island. It's a representation of my island and, and where I'm from. Let me show it off right here. We're seeing the custom, custom handwriting. We're seeing the artistic side. But funny enough, the backside was inspired by San Juan, which is the capital of Puerto Rico. And it's inspired by the building. It's inspired by old, old San Juan. I actually have a picture. Um, I have a picture where you literally see these colors in the buildings right across from each other. So I saw, instantly saw that picture. I'm like, yep. Yep, this is my route. <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, it's really mind blowing to me that I could get a chance to design something like that. Like I would have, I would have honestly never, never thought that. I hope the fans like it. I hope the fans are, are loud and proud and, and out and about with the scarf. I'm, I'm excited to see that thing just everywhere. In the most positive way was to be loud was to be loud and be proud because I think realistically to me that's what Hispanic Heritage Month is, is being loud and proud of where you come from, where you were born or, or where you represent, who you're representing. Um, and that's what I wanted this design to be. And I wanted just everybody to be, be proud and, and happy to, to wear. I wanted you, if you walked across the street and you saw the scarf, I wanted you to take notice that, hey, oh yeah, I, I've seen that before. I will represent my country no matter where I'm at with, with all the pride in the world. Like it, it means everything. I like to see more and more Latinos, Hispanics in the in the sports industry, in the in the creative industry in general. Like I'm a designer, but hey, I want to see Latinos, Hispanics on the sideline as videographers, photographers. I want to see them take over the world. So celebrations like this. Realistically, it gives a lot of the Latinos, Hispanics on creative teams that avenue, like, hey, this is your project to lead. Don't, don't take a step back on it. Be the one that leads the charge, be the one that leads the change, and that's, that's what's awesome about it. I mean, it's, it's what you grow up with. You go to Colombia, you're driving down the street, you're seeing everybody playing, from older crowds to younger crowds. You're basically born with the ball, so it's it's awesome. Then you get like World Cups, you have big celebrations like that, and that's where you really see just how amazing it is. Like this, this is this is my my team's pride on the line. This is my country's pride on the line. Like we're not playing around with this, but it's fun because you get to see all these different, I guess let's just say it, communities come together because you're seeing people from all parts of like Latino Hispanic culture coming together, and that's a that's a beautiful in itself. My design didn't take kind of a backseat to like, hey, I don't want to be too, too expressive with it. 
no, I, I kind of wanted to take that front seat and be like, I, I want to go in there. I, will, I want you to tell me to tone it down. And I think that's, that's essentially how the fans in MLS are. A lot of the Hispanic Latino fans in MLS, like, they'll be cheering. They'll be cheering loud, like loud, and they will have their flags and they will represent. And that's how I think you combine the fans with my scarf design.